Proverbs 14.10 The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. You are a unique individual, just like every snowflake is different. The depths of bitterness and heights of joy that you feel can never be fully known or appreciated by others. Your heart, your soul, your mind, your conscience create a private set of feelings and thoughts that are known only by you and your Creator. Others cannot discover or define your true feelings. Anguish and pain in your soul from circumstances, fear, guilt, or hopelessness are your personal property and cannot be felt or understood by a stranger. Neither can he know the joy of your heart because of circumstances, hope, love, or successes. No one fully knows your feelings, regardless of how sympathetic. You are alone in the universe with your own soul. The combined factors that form another's feelings and thoughts are quite different from yours or anyone else's. This proverb is an observation by Solomon about human existence. Paul confirmed it when he said, For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Each person is unique individual with feelings both negative and positive, unknown to others. Because of this, we need to learn some lessons. First, we must accept, learn to accept that others cannot grasp our grief or happiness. We must forgive what may seem as if they didn't care. And remember, you cannot know their situation either. Wisdom makes allowances due to individuality. So practice the golden rule and empathize. Bible says in Romans 12:15, Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. We may not understand it, but we can rejoice, and we can cry with him. Michael despised David for his uninhibited worship, because her carnal and shallow soul could not grasp his joy and love for God. She loved the military hero, but despised his religious zeal. She lost her husband's position by her insensitivity. She should have valued his intense praise. I believe as we look around the world today, we need to say woe to overbearing parents. Fathers, provoke not your children's anger, lest they be discouraged. Woe to insensitive employers. Ephesians 6, 9 says, Ye masters, do the same things unto them, for bearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, needs the respect of persons with him. Woe to pastors who treat their members roughly. 1 Peter 5, 3, Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Secondly, and most importantly, is that though no other person can relate to your spirit, there is a friend that can. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Philippians 4, 7 says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The psalmist in chapter 61, 2 says, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. The only true joy man can experience is God's gift by His Spirit. And how that is marvelous for us. Romans fifteen thirteen. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound through the power of the Holy Ghost.